So now we talk about the gross anatomy of the testis. Testis is the male gonad homologous with the ovary of female. It is suspended in the scrotum by the spermatic cord. This is the spermatic cord. The left testis is slightly lower than the right and the testis lies in each half the scrotal sac. The shape of the testis is oval and ellipsoid. Now we talk about the size of the testis. It is 4 cm long, 3 cm wide, 2.5 cm thickness. The weight of the testis is 10 to 15 gram. Now we talk about the position of the testis. It lies obliquely so that upper pole is tilted slightly forward and medially and lower pole is slightly backward. Now we talk about the external features of the testis. There are two poles, two borders and two surfaces. Two poles of the testis are upper and lower. Upper poles are attached to the spermatic cord. Both the poles are convex and smooth. This is upper pole, this is lower pole. Now we talk about the two borders. There are two borders, anterior border and posterior border. Anterior border is anterior border is convex and smooth and fully covered by the tunica vaginalis. Posterior border is straight and uh, partially covered with tunica vaginalis and it is related to the body and tail of the epididymis. It is related to the body and tail of the epididymis. It is posterior border. Now there are two surfaces of the epididymis: medial surface and lateral surface. This is lateral surface, this is medial surface. Both the surfaces are smooth and slightly convex. The lateral surface is distinguished by the presence of the sinus of the epididymis. The lateral surface of the epididymis is separated from the lateral surface of testis by the presence of sinus of the epididymis. Now, a small ovoid body is found attached to the upper pole of the testis it is called appendix of testis. It represents the para remnants of paramesonephric duct. Now, contents of the spermatic cord. There are three arteries present in the spermatic cord. Testicular artery, artery to artery of ductus deferens and cremastric artery. There are three nerves present in the spermatic cord, genital branch of genitofemoral nerve, Iliaingular nerve and autonomic nerves, and ductus deferens also entered into the spermatic cord. This is ductus deferens, which is entering into the spermatic cord. Also, pampiniform plexus are present and remnants of processus vaginalis. Now we talk about the side determination of the testis. This is the upper pole. This is lower pole. Upper pole is attached to the spermatic cord. Now, lateral surface, it is distinguished by the presence of the sinus of epididymis. Medial surface, this is medial surface. For the easiness of side determination, we can look for the sinus of epididymis on the lateral side. And the vast difference are present on the medial side. So, it is the testis of the right side because sinus of epididymis is present on the lateral side and vast difference are present on the medial side. So it is testis of right side. Now let's talk about the clinical anatomy of testis. So what is varicocele? Varicocele is a medical condition characterized by the enlargement of veins within the scrotum. Varicocele is produced by dilation of the pampiniform plexus. It is usually left sided possibly because the left testicular vein is longer than right testicular vein left testicular vein enter left renal vein at right angle left testicular vein crossed by colon and so can be compressed when colon is loaded so what is hydrocyl hydrocyl is a condition in which fluid accumulates in the processus vaginalis the fluid that accumulates in a hydrocyl is typically clear and resembles water what is cryptorchidism and monoarchism normally the testis develop inside the abdomen near the kidney and gradually descend into the scrotum before birth or shortly after birth. Now what is cryptorchidism? It is undescended testis. It is a condition in which both testis fail to descend into the scrotum during fetal development. And what is monoarchism? Monoarchism is also known as unilateral cryptorchidism and or monoarchidism.